Hey YouTube, uh, this is my 20 gallon and I'm just going to give you a little species profile on the glass catfish or the skeleton catfish or the many different s similar names to this fish but I'd call it glass. Um, it is primarily for a 30 gallon due to its size. It is not entirely active because it is primarily nocturnal but it does usually swim around it's it's pretty active now because I just fed them literally like three seconds ago um, so they're pretty active and it's pretty close to when I'm gonna turn off the lights I do feed my tank closer to night because most of my fish are nocturnal including the glass catfish these are a very very schooling fish or don't know how to word that but they're ex they require more than one and I feel like they just look better when there's more than one in the tank I bought three originally and two of them died right when I started the tank due to poor non bacterial bacteria in the water so two of them died and so I had this one big one for a while, and I really didn't like him. I didn't want to get rid of him, but I still didn't enjoy him as I would have liked to. So then I got three more, and they're one of my favorite addition to the fish. Um, they're a very awesome fish, and before I was into fish, there were a fish that I just really enjoyed and just looking at in the fish doors so I am so glad I got them uh, this fish is extremely peaceful but it does get up to about four or five three four five inches um, so it does require a bigger tank of 30 gallons um, but it is a peaceful fish won't pick on your other fish um, other than that, uh, it's pretty good on water quality and temperature, 75 to 80 degrees. So it, it likes a semi-cool water, but I've taken it all the way up to 82 to cure ick, and they've been fine. So on temperature, it's pretty, uh, pretty universal. You can keep it with a wide variety of fish, but keep it in the limits um, with the pH of 6 6.5 to 7.1 or 2 um, this tank was at an okay pH before I started using some a very very good product to bring it bring it, uh, bring it up to 7 and usually fish uh, change to pH drastic or it wasn't drastic changes but it did change semi rapidly because of the brand of pH changer uh, it was really well so and they didn't react too heavily to that um, I have not had this fish go on any food strikes or not take any food I have fed it it eats a very wide variety of fish flakes uh, pellets um, algae I've seen it pick on some algae wafers, uh, blood worms, brine shrimp. I don't do live food, so I can't be too sure on live food, but this is a catfish, and catfish are pretty much known to eat anything. So I would say anything that can fit in their mouth, they would probably eat. Uh, it is an omnivore, but primarily on the carnivorous size side. Um, I have had this fish for quite a while, I mean, or not a year, but they have been, they have been doing great, and they're just an exceptional, uh, species in my tank. The only bad part about them is that they are nocturnal, so the only time I get to enjoy them swimming and moving around beautifully is when they are eating or the lights are turned off. 
Um, but my fish tank is in my room, so sleeping, I do kind of wake up and look at it, and I can see them swimming around. I will probably move this these to my 55 once they are a little bigger. They still have a little to go, but yeah, it's kind of boring just watching them swim because they're not extremely active. I mean, I'm seeing them move a little more because it is feeding time and close to when I turn off the lights, but other than that, they don't move as much. They do have a bigger mouth than it appears. Their mouth looks like they couldn't even fit a small pellet into it, but they can eat pretty big stuff. I've had bloodworms, and I've had bloodworms that got has got pretty big due to the batches that I buy the product from, and they have been able to eat them however size, so their mouth is larger than it would seem for a catfish in mouth of its size. Um, this fish is pretty awesome fish and my experience of it was great. Um, and even when I first set up the tank and I had two that died, that was not their fault. That was completely my fault. It was due to just I didn't set up the tank and put fish in at the right time, so the bacteria and the nitrides and nitrates were all off. So this fish is very, very good. I did have it hit this tank, as I said previously, and they weren't even affected by it. Um, so it swept by my tank. I brought it up to 80, 82 something, and they were fine. I have not had this fish act differently due to any other circumstance. Um, but do try to keep them in the limits of what they are supposed to be just because the, just the fish are more prosper better and just, I mean, it's not like it's going to kill you to buy a few products to make the water better. Um, other than that, this fish is exceptionally well, and I don't care if I've said that a whole bunch of times. I love this fish, and a lot. Um, like I've said, it is one of a fish that does look a whole lot better when it's in a school compared to when it's just by itself. Um, I have seen ones that are just by itself in Petco or PetSmart or local fish stores, and I think that's kind of sad. If you're going to buy some, don't leave one in the tank. Even if it doesn't look a little too bad, that's horrible. Yeah, that's that's a sad thing to do. Just leave it all alone in its tank. I mean, getting off topic, this fish, I am so glad I got it, and I might even get more. They're not that cheap. Prices range to about four dollars to eight seven dollars um, so a pretty okay price for a n beautiful and awesome addition to your fish tank um, hope you like this video please comment like and subscribe